Joining us on the beach today is Chauncey Billups. Champion point guard, you know him, and he'll answer just about anything. We like those guys around here. Let's ask him just about anything. Is it true that you lit up Larry Brown on the team bus one time after a finals loss because he was talking to the team and you wanted him to shut up? Is that true? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's true. Yeah, that, that is true. true. That is true. I mean, uh, we, we, we go and we win game one in L.A., lose game two in overtime, and after the game, Larry was just so down, man, that we lost game two because it was, it was for him, it reminded him of his Philadelphia team. You know, they had one game, one came back, lost game two, lost the series. And so he kept talking about, yeah, you know, I've done this before. You know, we made a big mistake losing game two and this and that. And I'm, I'm just like, LB, I call him LB. I said, LB, listen, man, that, that, this is not the Philadelphia 76ers, man. We're way better than that team. Y'all have one guy. <laughs> that they had to prepare for. Y'all had one guy, man, that they had to, to try to stop. We don't have that, and we can stop them. Cut that out, man. That's negative energy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take this plane right home. We'll watch this the film so tomorrow, more polite. and this we'll be so all right. More polite. It, mm -hmm. This is more polite than it was delivered on yeah, that bus, Yeah, I mean, right? it was a little different. It was a little different with the emotion of the game just happening. What's the best conflict you've ever had with a coach, the most memorable conflict you've ever had? The most memorable conflict, I, I would, I mean, in my pro career, I would probably say it was with Larry Brown. I mean, we, we, he had took over the team, and it was our fourth or fifth game. We, we go out on the road. We're playing against the Clippers, and uh, we win the game. I, I thought I played a great game. I had, like, 29 points, 10 assists, nine rebounds, one turnover. I hit the game shot to win it. So everybody's kind of, you know, cheering, running through the tunnel, and I look back, and Larry's walking our way and he's just shaking his head and he's just like disgusted so I, I take a I said LB what, what's the what's wrong man what's the problem he looked at me says son you have no idea how to play this position for me oh, no. right so I'm like I'm like oh my god I said listen LB check this out uh -oh. tomorrow we can talk about that, but you're not stealing my joy tonight. I just hit the game with him. We win. First game on a six-game road trip. Not tonight, but tomorrow we can talk about that. Give me a name in response to this question. A teammate where the wife would get nervous that you said, I'm going out with this guy tonight. <laughs> uh, I would say Kenyon There's Martin. So many. Yeah, I do have a lot. I, I yeah, definitely have a lot. Which kind of nervous are we talking about here with going out and hanging with Kenny Martin? <laughs> well, I mean, all kind of nervous. I mean, your safety. You got to worry about your safety. You know, you got to worry about I'm, I'm, I've never, I've never been a drinker. And by the way, right. Kenyon is one of my best friends. But I've never been a drinker. Um, but, you know, Kenyon can have a cocktail or two or six or, or eight, you know. So <laughs> it, 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 it is a lot of different things you could be worried about out there late night with Kenyon Martin. Have you taunted him about the tattoo lips? I mean, you can't, that seems impetuous. It seems like a bad decision. Uh, Trina's lips on his, on his neck. Have you taunted him about that a little bit? Made fun well, of him you know, bit? we definitely had some, some conversations about those lips on his neck. <laughs> and uh, hey, let's go. At, at, at safe, safe to say, those lips are no longer on his neck. It's a crown now. That's right. It's a know, crown it's, it's now. A crown. It looked like so somebody were, kissing the king. I you, forgot about that. You were warning him, right? You were telling him that's not, that's not prudent. God. That's not yeah, prudent. I, I, if I would have done, I would have had to put them in a less visible spot. Was my conversation? <laughs> he's running out of. He was running out of. He was running out of real estate, yeah, though. Now not. the thing, though, we're going to ask you about Kenya Martin. Were you there when he found out that they put that popcorn in his car? Yes, I was. Yes, I how's, was. And I, I'm, I'm a guy that, that could. I'm a guy that can control K Martin. I mean, I, he was, he had a lot of respect for me. We had a mutual respect. Very good friends. Uh, I kept him off a lot of people's heads, to be honest with you. <laughs> but that day in that locker room, uh, I, I, I didn't even want to get in the middle of it, man. He was a little bit too hot, man. That, 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 was, a, that was an interesting day. Hold on, let's be clear. Somebody puts butter popcorn in Kenya Martin's new customized car. He finds this out. It's a prank. He walks in the locker room. You come in there. What do you see? This like when, when He's threatening well, to well, not I'm play in the playoffs. He's so mad. I'm already in there. I'm, I'm actually doing an interview at the time. And he just busted in there, and, and, and it, was, it was more cuss words than, than you've ever heard before. And he was looking for <laughs> whoever did it, man, whoever did it. So Whose I life my, did you save? I cut my interview off, and uh, I, 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 saved, 
I saved J.R. Smith's life. J.R. Who's this? J.R. We all know it was J.R. We all know. I saved J.R.'s life that day, man. J.R. made that little driver take the heat for that, too, man. That was the worst part. <laughs> I want your honest reaction. You answer questions honestly when you hear that the Pistons are drafting Darko. Not Carmelo, not Wade, not Bosch. They're drafting Darko. What's your honest reaction? Well, my honest reaction, I've seen him work out. I've seen the kid work out. We were in, at the time, we were playing Jersey in the playoffs, and he worked out after our practices one day, and his workout was unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I could see how, you know, if they wanted a big, I could see how they, they would – Draft, I mean, this guy's seven feet tall. I mean, he did everything you can ask a man to do in that workout. So I never seen him play a game, but just workout purposes, I said, okay. I mean, I, I could see it. I could see it. But I never seen him play a game. Well, how long did it take you to realize, though, that Darko thing wouldn't go work? Like, how many practices before you looked around? Like Two bro? or three. Two or three. <laughs> Two or three. I mean, I, I knew it wasn't going to be long. I mean, you, 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 you're drafting this guy. You're bringing him into playing with – Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, you know, the, Eldon Kemp, these, these guys, Memino Cor, who was a uh, European but very good. And you, you, you knew right away, I mean, this kid is young, 18, 19, but, man, he's a long ways away, and we, we could have got better. Chauncey, my father would like to ask you something. Go ahead, Poppy. Chauncey, did Carmelo ever give you any <laughs> for drafting Darko? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did. I said, Melo, I'm not the one that did it, man. I, I, didn't, I would have took you every day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's what you say did. now. You can, you can see it when Darko was working out. You next to Melo, and all of a sudden, uh, bro, I was trying to man, tell him, man. I, I said, yo, he just won the national but, championship. At, at, but as I say, I seen him in a workout. You, you're working out, you're playing one versus zero. I've never seen you play. I got to see somebody in front of you making you do something you don't like doing. J.R. Smith ever thank you for saving his life? Was there a thank you, a public thank you for saving his Smith, life? J.R. Smith has thanked me for several things. That is one of them, yes. <laughs> I believe that. Chauncey, thank you for being on with us. We appreciate it, All right, it, thanks, sir. guys.